Hey guys, it's Lily. Welcome back to my channel. So today, as promised, probably like a good year after you requested it, I have my top maybe six or seven, can't count right now, <laughs> favorite deep conditioners for relaxed hair. I am so sorry that it took me forever to get this video. Let me tell you what my problem is, sis, okay? Like, I do not always have every single deep conditioner that I use at the same time. So your girl went out and ran to the store, sorry, went out and ran to the store and bought all of them at one point and I've been using them, but the point is I still bought them. So just to make this video. So I'm here, I have them for the most part. There was still one I couldn't get my hands on. I'm gonna talk about that, but yes, let's get into the video. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Count it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are a total of eight deep conditioners that I use on my relaxed hair. Seven I have here. The eighth, I'm just gonna tell you right now, is Organic Root Stimulators Hair Mayonnaise. Um, I know that they have a new formula with the horse abstract. Horse abstract? Extract? You know what I'm talking about, right? Sis, help me out, okay? <laughs> um, they have that. And I bought it once, um, posted it to my Instagram, uh, Lily's Relaxed Hair, um, or you can follow me at Lily, Lily and Hearts um, on Instagram. Um, but I posted it and I mentioned how much I loved it, and I could not find it after that. <laughs> like, that was it. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, Maybe I'll just check Amazon. I don't usually like ordering my hair products online. I like to like see it in person, feel it, and do whatever, smell it, and all that good jazz. But whatever. If I have to order it online because I've already tried it, then I will. You guys let me know if you have it where you live. Um, I'll post like a picture or something. Um, or I'll just have like the full title in a description box so you can know what I'm talking about. I can't find that deep conditioner and I, and I loved it. Um, so I do have two repeats oh, yeah. from last year that's Kaylee I'm sorry <laughs> this is all unprofessional <laughs> whatever <laughs> um Littlefoot yeah Shh, girl okay um yeah so two deep conditioners I've mentioned in uh 2016's uh best deep conditioners for relaxed hair so I'm just gonna get those out of the way um, and these are in no particular order either. This isn't like because I grabbed this first, this isn't the one I like the most, whatever. I like them all. Um, this is Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen Restore Treatment Mask. Yada, yada, yada. It still has some more stuff right here. But hang on, let me get my life together real quick. There it is. This is one of my favorite deep conditioners for, like I said, strengthening my hair. When I feel like my hair has too much elasticity, Meaning, I have over moisturized my hair, which I tend to do pretty darn often. I'll follow up with something like this to strengthen it, to balance out fat moisture. So this is protein based. This has a uh, what do you call vegetable protein in it? Um, yay! So it's not like animal protein. Like let me stop. Like I eat meat, y'all. Let me stop. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I'll use this to strengthen my hair when I've overly moisturized it. So I do love this one. Holy grail, like, it's just, it's, it's always going to be here. Like, it ain't going nowhere, y'all. So in the next one that I'll do, about two years from now, <laughs> this going to be in it. So, yeah, the next deep conditioner that I have that is a repeat, y'all, oh, my God, okay? This Shea Moisture... Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil <laughs> Intensive Hydration Hair Mask, and then it got some more stuff after that. So let me see if I can do it again. That one. This. Not only, okay, let me smell it just because I know y'all can't, but I can, so ha ha. Um, this deep conditioner, I haven't even used this one yet. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> this deep conditioner leaves my hair so soft so 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 soft like half the time like I, I don't know like if they have like a conditioner like a co-washing line like if this was available in a co-wash y'all 
uh, my goodness like that is that would all like that would be the only thing I would use okay like you guys know like my herbal essence hella hydration to co-wash with if this was kind of like that and not as pricey as it is sis I would be using this is this would be the only thing I would use in my hair when I want it soft like this is amazing like you can't detangle your hair use this okay and then once you rinse it off honey trust and believe your hair will be super soft little foot girl <laughs> it's so loud over there now the next ones are i'm not sure if i mentioned these before i think i've mentioned this one um i didn't go back and watch the video but i just know what products i love and i've been having in my collection for longest and i know which ones i recently picked up so um, if I repeat one that I've said I've never have used before, then whatever. That means you just know I like it, okay? Because <laughs> I just keep talking about it. Um, the next one that I like, and this is again one that would strengthen your hair. It's the Afogee Protein. It's the two-step protein treatment. Okay, listen, Afogee has a two-minute protein reconstructor thingy. And it's like a conditioner and then they have the two step protein and you follow this is okay listen let me show you this is a balancing moisturizer so I have these together because listen the two step this is the two step one it came in a bottle like this and it as you guys can see it's a liquid and like straight up liquid and it was in a bottle like this so I would have to like pour it on my hands and kind of like get it to my hair and it would be dripping all down here and stuff like that and it wasn't cute okay it wasn't cute it stinks it gets sticky like as it dries and it hardens and it was all over my arms and it was just not a good look like it was down my back like nah so I put it in a spray bottle for easy for an easy application so I don't have that actual bottle on hand. I literally poured it in here and threw the bottle out. Forgot that I would be doing a video, my bad girlfriend. Okay, but this is what it looks like. I'm almost done, but um, so I will need to buy some more. But this is the consistency of it. This is the color of it. Um, yeah, so this is uh, what you would do with this one. This is it's a little different from the other deep conditioners. So what you would do with this one is spray it on your hair while it's wet and get underneath the dryer and your hair will harden while you're sitting on like don't cover it don't do anything your hair will be rock hard and then you would follow up with this you would go in the shower rinse it and then follow up with this balancing moisturizer so that's why I have this here as well so the next ones are going to be sort of newish sort of <laughs> So yeah, you guys heard me talk about this one. It's the Nexus Humectris Ultimate Moisture. It's in the white pack. This is not here. There you go, sis. There you go. Write it down. Write it down, girlfriend. Get you this, okay? But this one I haven't found in like a jar or anything like that. I don't know why. Whenever I go to Target, it's just always in this pack form. So I usually just get like two because my hair is mega thick. Um... But yeah, I love this one too. Like the rest of these are pretty much going to be moisturizing ones. Um, I like this one too because it does leave my hair soft. And these like little packets are pretty inexpensive. It's like two something per pack. Not sure. I don't know. I'm just calling out a number. Let me stop. Oh, um, but they're, they're pretty inexpensive. And I do love the Nexus hairline. I use it um, for my leave out as well. Uh, this is a sewing. Gosh, this is not my... This is not all my hair. This is Sassy Mitchell hair that I still have. And I've had this still in for like a month and a half. And it's it's pretty tired. But I use this on my, I use the shampoo and conditioner on my leave out. And then I flat iron it and whatever. And yeah. So I like the shampoo and conditioner. And I also just really like this deep conditioner for moisturizing my hair. It's the winter time and my leave out gets super dry. Like it's dry now. Um, but yeah. So that's a good one and I've mentioned it like as a new product that I tried last year but um, it made its way into a favorites video. Shout out to Nexus. <laughs> Shout out for making it into a favorites or whatever. <laughs> um, the next uh, deep condition I have is an Old Faithful. I tried this like when I was like fresh in my hair journey and then completely forgot all about it because I felt like it was geared towards 
more natural girls. It was a little heavy for my relaxed hair. And um, I just felt like, oh, this is just one of those natural girl products. <laughs> it's like, no offense to y'all. I was, I was hating. Um, so I stopped using it. I, well, I started using it for my daughter. And then um, eventually just stopped using it. But whatever. So it's the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask. This is really, really good on my Texax hair. It's not as heavy. Like, honestly, this, it's kind of like the same as this, this one here. Like, they're really, really thick. Um, but I don't mind it now because it doesn't, like, weigh my hair down. And it just, if your hair is on the finer side, if you have fine, relaxed hair and you use this, just make sure you thoroughly um, rinse it out. Because it will, like, if you flat on your hair after that, honey, it's going to show. Okay, sis? So make sure you just rinse it all the way out. This is really, really, really good for moisturizing your hair and just repairing it. And just, like, you just feel like you just started off fresh. You know what I mean? You just have that fresh feeling after you use this. Like, okay, my hair is good. It's good now. So, <laughs> um, the next deep conditioner I have, I just recently tried on my leave out the last time. The last time right y'all <laughs> the last time <laughs> i uh washed my leave out and uh deep conditioned it and whatever and all that yada yada this is the thank god it's natural honey miracle hair mask and i've been hearing so much about honey and how it's really really good for the hair um i will list the benefits of honey in a description box uh, use honey in your products Pour some honey in it. And not that like teddy bear honey, but like organic, like organic honey. It's really, really good for the hair. And that should just show you what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> it's this one. So TGIN, um, thank God it's natural, honey miracle hair mask. This is a really, really good one as well. Um, so it's moisturizing, but I, I feel like this is a good balance between both, like protein and moisture. You guys know I always preach about a good protein balance and a good moisture balance. Like that's how your hair works or needs and stuff girl okay <laughs> um but yeah I feel like this is a good one so it doesn't like overly moisturize my hair like some of the other ones and it doesn't like leave my hair super dry and mega strong like that apple you two-step um but yeah this is definitely just like a healthy balance so if you're going pretty good in your hair journey like you you like your hair doesn't stretch too much so it's not too elastic or it doesn't like break as soon as you touch it meaning it's too um you have too much protein in it like this is good when you got a healthy balance and you're going and your protein i mean your hair journey is going well just you know stay stay with this stay with that the last one that i tried um that i got from tj maxx thank goodness because this is pricey honey um is the macadamia natural oil and this one isn't uh new to the scene i saw a lot of natural girls talking about this I actually i actually saw the glam twins mention it like a few years back um and it's this one like everybody knows what this one is however i refused to buy it when it was forty dollars i refused to buy it when it was thirty dollars i refused to buy it at tj maxx when it was 19.99 okay they had it um discounted even more for 14.99 and i was just like all right like all right <laughs> but when i tried i tried it actually on kaylee's hair first and it her little coils her four c's were bouncing honey like they were bouncing so i was like honey when i straighten my hair again or when i like wash my leave out again i'm gonna try that and yeah this is awesome this is really really awesome like it just it doesn't like moisturize your hair too much like again like this one Use this when your hair is super dry. I mean, super dry and brittle and whatever. Use this. This will <laughs> just soak in all that moisture. Like, yeah. But this one is just like a, it, it's not too moisturizing. So you'll be good with this, sis, okay? Um, if you find it at TJ Maxx or if y'all balling like that and you can buy it for a price, you go ahead and do you, boo. But for me and my cheap self, I went to TJ Maxx, so yeah. If you're a little cheapy like me, honey, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, whatever. Um, yeah, this one smells really good as well. Ooh, man, I got a piece of Kaylee's hair in it. <laughs> I'm not gonna show y'all that, <laughs> but yeah. So that is pretty much my current favorite deep conditioners for relaxed hair. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all. I got it out there. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. What else can I say? Uh, I spoke about the hair mayonnaise, even though I don't have it here. This video is at 15 minutes. I'm really just going to shut up now because uh, there isn't anything else. If you guys know of a deep conditioner that you want me to try, let me know um, in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out a ton, okay? Uh, subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>